What's up, YouTube? Some people have been asking me about using the external Bluetooth dongle instead of using the built-in Bluetooth on the Raspberry Pi 3, and especially for this controller right here, as well as you get the PS4, the PS3 controller. But some people say that this controller, specifically the Wii U controller, there's also a generic version as well, which is pretty good as well, uh, that this really helps these out without ghost buttons and things like that. And I've had some time to experiment with this now, and I think it does help. I think it is a little bit of a help. I don't think it's necessarily perfect. Um, I'm still messing with it. Let's, let's check it out. Like I said, I, I love this controller. It's good weight, wireless, great range, great longevity in the battery. It has everything you want. Feels good. I'm going to show you what I did in order to disable the onboard and then... What, which uh, dongle I'm using here. So let's go ahead and uh, exit our Pi and turn off the Pi and we're gonna remove the SD card is the first thing we're gonna do. So I've already done this, but what you're gonna do is you're gonna put your Pi in, you click into your Pi, you should see overlays and all these files here. You wanna open config.txt. You can open it with notepad, but it's gonna be a jumble. Actually, it's working here. Sometimes it doesn't format correctly. You, if, that, if it's not formatted correctly, you can also open it with WordPad instead of Notepad. Either one works just fine. Scroll to the bottom, and you can see I've already put it in here. Typically, this would be empty here, and you're just gonna copy that code, paste it in here, and now this is gonna disable the Bluetooth. Go ahead and exit, say yes, you wanna save. Close out of this, and we're gonna go ahead and put the SD card back in our Pi, and now our Bluetooth is disabled. So I'm using this little Asus dongle here. It's nothing special. It's just a little cheap Bluetooth dongle. There's some low power ones, this new Bluetooth 4.0s, which will be even better. I'll put the links to that in the description. And my experience is they auto install. If they don't install, you might have to get the drivers and install the drivers. But these work perfectly. After you reboot and you've disabled your Bluetooth dongle, the onboard one, you can go ahead and test it out. I'm going to put a screenshot here. You can follow these directions here going through command prompt, which is a little more difficult. But another way to do it is just go to your Bluetooth and try to connect a Bluetooth device as if it was working. And what should happen is when you register and connect to a Bluetooth device here, when you click OK, it should stay on searching the whole time. It should just kick you back out and say no devices were found. Once you know your Bluetooth device is now disabled, the onboard, go ahead and plug in your new dongle, restart the system, and come back to this Bluetooth screen. Here, it should be plug and play. If that doesn't work, you will need to find some drivers for it, but typically, like with mine, it was simply just a plug and play, and I'll link some in the description that will work plug and play. Now, if you were to add your device, it's very simple. Just register and connect the device. Make sure on your device, if it's like the Wii U controller, on the back of it, there's a red button that says sync. Make sure you're pressing that, and that should then allow it to connect. Mine's already connected, but typically you'll see this screen right here. Go ahead and click the first one. As far as this screen, just click yes, and then it should connect. It's saying it's an error because I'm already connected, but yours um, should say successfully connected. If it doesn't, occasionally it does take two tries you successfully paired your controller. Whenever you reboot the system, all you need to do is turn your controller on and press any key. That'll then recognize it. You do not need to redo any kind of controls. You may also need to go uh, back and press start and go down to configure input. This will configure your controls here. Just say yes here and you know, for example, I have my Wii U, I hold it down, and here you are. You might, you will have to do this on a new controller, which is just setting up the controls, making sure you have the correct, the correct buttons match your controller. And depending on your controller, you know, like a Sega controller versus a PS4 versus a Xbox 360, these buttons might be different on different controllers. But once you pass through this screen here, it's, you're on your home stretch. Okay, it's saying no gamepad detected, but we just press a button on our on our Wii U. It should detect it. Okay, it detected, I hit a button. So now we're in.
Incubus. Eddie Mashita. Oh, he came at me pretty hard. Jumping down the river. Okay, this works really great. That's just why I like this controller so much. I mean, it just plays everything so well. Nintendo. Shouldn't be an issue. Here we go, here we go. Oh, I thought I hit it. I thought I got an egg. Okay, here we go. Egg, egg, egg time. Oh, you gotta have a chicken. You gotta have three chickens. Three chickens, three pink. Three chickens or three pink. I think I remember that the red, that little red hole there is pretty good, right? I feel like the ball just like gravitates towards there for no reason. Get the red hole. There we go. Now we got some cards. Now we're basically, now we basically won. You know? I bet if I Google right now what the highest score in this game, I'm gonna cry. Just play bonks really quick. Just so we get a little uh, a little variety here, playing a bunch of different systems. Bananas. Hooking up a Bluetooth dongle to override your Raspberry Pi 3's Bluetooth. This is a particularly good modification, a good, good upgrade if you have like a pure aluminum case or you have a case like mine where it covers up the whole Raspberry Pi, thus weakening the signal a little bit. So the dongle really does have an advantage over using the stock Bluetooth that's on the board. Bluetooth adapters are cheap, you're talking $5, $10, so it's a really cheap upgrade. And you get the generic controller for this for around $20. So it's probably still worth it if that's something that you want to invest in. As well as if you're going across the couch or you're going a little farther distance, it's definitely something to consider. Really easy to do. As you saw, just disable your onboard, install your new one. Sometimes it's plug and play. A lot of the times it is that easy. If this video helped you out or you enjoyed it, give it a like. If you can subscribe to the channel, I'd really appreciate it. And we'll see you on the next one.